Hi, this is Dave. I'm here on day one of Neath with the world famous Al Nagler at Teleview Optics and with our essay contest winner Jenna Elliott. And Al is going to show us about some of the most exciting new products and things that are going on at the legendary Teleview. Take it away, Al. Okay. Thank you very much, Dave. Really appreciate uh, your coming here and giving me the opportunity to uh, talk to all our uh, friends and uh, readers at Astronomy. We have a number of Teleview telescopes here. Many of you are probably aware of them. We've made some minor tweaks, improvements, uh, such as adding a 10 to 1 starlight feather touch pinion assembly to all of our focuses to make them exceptionally smooth for both uh, imaging as well as for general visual use. Mm -hmm. So if you want to scan around here a little bit, you can see our NP101 now, which is one of the most popular scopes. The NP101. 540 millimeter F54, very popular, used for both imaging and visual. Uh, this one is on our Wilma tripod. Next, next to it, we have our 76, Telegram 76. Mm -hmm. Here, next to that, we have our Telegram 60, which is the smallest scope we made. Mm -hmm. And uh, very handy. I often use it uh, to demonstrate to do sidewalk astronomy because it's so easy to carry around, even for low phobia. Very lightweight. Very lightweight. Even for a strong guy like Al Nagler. Right, right. So, Al, where are these tripods? Well, you know that. Yeah, no, the boot holds up wonderful and they damp the vibration. And so they're attractive. Functional, and we have them both in ash and in walnut, two different styles. And of course, for the very lighter weight instruments, like the TV60, we have the, our own special telephone. Then, then over here, we have our largest instrument, the Teleview 127 IS. 127 IS. NP, mm -hmm. Nagler Petzval, because it's based on my Petzval design. Mm -hmm. We're a flat field, fast, apochromatic telescope. So, my feeling is that in a telescope, you should have the greatest portability, so you want to take it anywhere, especially for dark sites. You want to have the maximum field potential so you can see wide areas and Milky Way clusters. Mm -hmm. It should be good enough quality, wonderful quality, with the highest powers, color free for planetary viewing, double stars, and so on. Uh, in addition, the IS means imaging system. It's outfitted with various accessories and benefits for the imager. And so it becomes a universal astronomical platform for any area you're interested in taking to. Fantastic. This is, this is also Walnut. This is a Walnut Gibraltar. And if you just go over here, mm -hmm. so then you, mm -hmm. you see the brass version of our Teleview 85. Beautiful. Which is not only beautiful, made of solid brass, uh, but optically is not only excellent, but it was rated by the Cornell Ornithology Lab for your birders mm -hmm. as the best birding optics in the world. Wow. So you have also multiple focus and, and convenience in a high quality 85 millimeter scope. And right behind us here, we happen to have two wonderful illustrations of astronomical images by Tony Harris taken with the NP-101. Of course, everybody knows the Pleiades. That one an astronomy picture of the day. Mm -hmm. And the one next to it is my favorite object, the M24 Small Sagittarius Star. Climb. Right in the heart of the galaxy there. Right. So Beautiful. That's what I like to do. Mm -hmm. Are these two images something you can get with all these telescopes you just showed us? Well, they, they can be done with all the telescopes, but the NP101 and the 127 are a little better suited. But even this TV85, get them over this one. Mm -hmm. 
This picture is taken wow. from Teleview 85 of Ada Karina. Mm -hmm. It must have been about 8, 10 years ago. I don't know. And even given the evolution of astro imaging, that's still a that, breathtaking that, image. Yes, for an 85 millimeter scope to get a shot like that. Amazing. It makes me want to get that telescope. Right. Well, it, that's one, one you ought to look at. And now let's take a look at five new eyepieces mm -hmm. that we're showing here for the first time. Okay. Uh, here we have our complete eyepiece line, Nagler's, Plossel's, Panoptics, and so on. And our newest ones over here are the Ethos, the full line from 3.7. In the back there. 3.7 mm -hmm. to 21 millimeters. Mm -hmm. The 3.7 and the 4.7 uh, are SX, which means simulator experience, because they have the 110 degree field of the simulator I designed for the LEM mm -hmm. training project. For the Apollo mission. Right, on the Apollo mission. Mm -hmm. And here we have the full line now of the Delos, which I named after our designer, Paul Delakai. Mm -hmm. Okay, and they now go from 3.5 up to 17.3. So we have five new models here. Beautiful. And I call them the delicious new Delos. <laughs> so we like to have fun at Teleview, as you may have guessed. Yes, indeed. Yeah. So that's that's the new the major new That's I, 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 I piece plastic. Well, thank you, Al. And thank you, Jenna. And there are lots of exciting things going on at Teleview. And I know the readers will be very, very happy to know about them. Thanks very much.